the first thing that we're going to look at here is um, absolute convergence. What the heck does that mean? Uh, so far, we've only dealt with series that have positive terms. Um, so now we're going to look at what happens when you have uh, negative terms as well. All right, let's see. So we have a term uh, called um, absolute convergence. That's what the whole title of this is. And uh, what that means is all you're doing is taking the absolute value of the, the sequence on the inside and then considering that series. Um, and if that converges, then this uh, converges absolutely. That's, it's just a term for that. It converges when the absolute value version converges. Also, actually, if your um, series converges absolutely, it means it converges normally. I'm going to try and make examples so you know what the heck I'm talking about. But first, let's see. Notice I didn't write down any like instructions for this because we're just going to talk about it. Um, the first thing that you should notice is that this alternates between negative 1 and 1. And it just goes back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. So we really don't have any tools to deal with this just yet. But that's, I mean, by the end of these videos, you will. Um, all we know for right now is the definition of absolute convergence. So this is what I'm uh, thinking of. This is what, it, what I'm trying to say. If you take this, that sequence, and take the absolute value, so that's going to be a sub n. And you take the absolute value of a sub n. That's going to be the same thing, because this is either negative 1 or 1. If you take the absolute value of that, it's just going to be 1 all the time. And then in the bottom, that's always going to be positive, so nothing changes there. So if you take the absolute value of this sequence, it becomes that sequence. But really, uh, oh, and then we can say, well, the sum from n equals 1 to infinity of 1 over n squared. We know this converges because it's a convergent p-series. So we can say by the definition of absolute convergence, we can say, so thus, the series um, for, or the sum of negative 1 to the n minus 1 divided by n squared from 1 to infinity converges absolutely. So here we have uh, one thing that we're able to say about alternating series. This is an alternating series because the terms alternate from negative to positive to negative to positive to negative to positive or positive to negative to positive to negative. Hopefully that makes sense. Uh, so here, um, this series converges absolutely. That's a certain type of convergence. But uh, in a moment, we're going to see that this implies something else as well. So I'm going to try and, well, first I'm going to state the theorem um, and uh, we'll, like, converging absolutely is a certain type of convergence. We want to know if it just converges normally. We want to just be able to look at that and say, yes, it converges. Or we want to be able to say, no, it, it diverges. But right now, all we can say is it converges absolutely. So um, we, I want to see what that means. I want to see if, like, absolutely... Does that mean it just converges normally, or does it only satisfy this condition where you have to take the absolute value of it? So, uh, let's see. This part is not really a test. It's just, um, it's kind of, uh, it's a theorem, that's for sure. Um, but we're going to say if a series converges absolutely, meaning that when you take the absolute value of it, that series converges. So if a series converges absolutely, then the regular series also converges. So um, we have a term for this, and it's just called absolute convergence. If, if this converges, then it's called absolute c convergence. Uh, so there's, it, I mean, it kind of, it's kind of nice because if we can just take the absolute value of a sequence, see if that converges, then we automatically know that the regular series also converges. That's what this is saying. If the absolute value of the series converges, then the original series converges. I'm going to try and provide an argument for that. So there's the meaning of that. Uh, meaning, meaning, meaning. If you have absolute convergence, then the normal series converges as well. Okay, so uh, let's, let's think about this. Um, we are talking about uh, series that alternate between negative and positive. So... Um, suppose, so this is my argument. 
Suppose a sub n alternates. So then we have um, like some so like half negative, half positive. It just goes positive, negative, positive, negative, positive, negative, positive, negative, so and so forth. So suppose that alternates. That means every other number is a negative. That also means if we take the absolute value of a sub n, if we take the absolute value, that's definitely, let me write it like this. So first I'm thinking of a sub n, which has some negatives, about half. So when you add them all up, you get a negative and then plus a positive, and then plus a negative and then plus a positive. So half the time you're taking something away from another thing. Not a, the exact amount that you had before, but you're taking something away. Then I want to think about the absolute value of a sub n. All of these negatives turn to positives. And then all of the positives here stay positive. So this, of course, is bigger. has to be. If this has some negatives, then the absolute value of it changes all those negatives to positives, so um, it, it's bigger. So this is what we have. And since we have this being bigger than this, uh, and like what are we saying? If the series converges absolutely, meaning this converges, so if this converges, we're assuming that, like if, if, the series, I'll do this in green. So if that converges, and then, well, um, this has to converge. A sub n, the regular series, which is smaller, must converge by the comparison test. So that's the whole idea for this. So now we actually have a single way uh, to decide whether an alternating series, ones with negatives and positives, we, we have a way to decide if that converges. Um, actually, it, only if it converges. So if a sub n diverges, or sorry, if the absolute value diverges, this doesn't tell us anything. So there we go. That's all we can, that's all we can say. Uh, maybe I should write a note about that. If this theorem doesn't tell us anything, if uh, a, the absolute value of a sub n diverges. We only know if it converges. Uh, okay, so that's the end of this video. Hopefully you understand that. Uh, maybe we'll take a look at some problems, or I'll just put it all together. When this does diverge, we have an alternating series test that we can use.